Karen and Jesse launched Trending Media Australia in May 2014. Jesse and I have been working in media for, for quite a few years, television, radio, etc. Uh, and and we've been filming some friends' weddings just as favours on the side. And those friends were saying to us, why don't you guys go into business for yourselves? And we're like, no, that that's not for us. We couldn't do that. But then we figured out that well, maybe if we did, it could be a way of supplementing our income. We needed to fund our travelling habit, and we also wanted to buy a house. So we did. We jumped in and we're like, okay, let's, let, let's give it a go. So we started Trending Media at our little glass computer desk in our little apartment in, in the city. And it was in that living room of that apartment that we decided to hatch the plan to, to launch Trending Media. So I guess that was... That was our first office. When we first started Trending Media, we, we started filming weddings to begin with. Mostly because that's, even before we started our business, that's what we started filming. Because friends knew that we worked in television, and they thought, well, <laughs> if you're good with the camera, you might as well just film our wedding. So we kind of started doing that. So they were filming weddings. But what was with the company name Trending Media Australia? It doesn't sound like a wedding business. You know, we wrestled with so many names. I remember one night walking along the Brisbane River with Jesse and we were throwing different combinations of what we should call this company. We called it Trending Media Australia because we didn't want to typecast ourselves. We wanted to make sure that no matter where we started, it wasn't necessarily where we were going to stay. So we didn't call it, you know, I don't know, elegant wedding videos or, or some kind of wedding video name, because we knew that's not where we were going to stay. We knew that was a really good foundation, and we figured it would give us the opportunity to branch out. Filming weddings was a great way to, I guess, get used to dealing with clients, uh, running a, a business, and thinking creatively on the fly. Before they knew it, Aaron and Jesse were right up there with some of the most popular wedding videographers in the country. With bride and grooms flying the boys to stunning locations around Australia and even overseas. It wasn't too long before word got out into the corporate world that this dynamic duo knew exactly what they were doing. Filming weddings actually created a lot of opportunities for us because we were developing relationships with venues. So we ended up actually making marketing videos for some of these venues that we had developed these relationships with and we still have today. And it just kind of it started taking off from there and then it was almost a natural progression to try and branch out and do more. Trending Media Australia was quickly becoming a media powerhouse, producing social media video content for brands big and small, filming events and even producing a reality-based tutorial series for an award-winning pet photographer. Creating engaging video content that audiences love to share. We both decided that it was time to start taking more of an active role in our community. So Aaron and I both decided to become sponsors of the Jack Reed Foundation. And I think at that point, neither one of us really fully grasped or understood what the homeless climate even looked like. I always thought, and I'm sure many people would think the same thing, homelessness is something that you see mostly in the city, in parks, train stations, things like that. I had no idea that essentially this issue is in everyone's backyard. And I think that's part of the reason why We've made sure that we've dedicated a large portion to the time that we've spent on our business to filming stuff for the foundation. And that actually led to us developing relationships with other organisations and helping other charities and creating contents to give awareness to their causes.
The last two years has seen the company go from strength to strength, with the team working on exciting projects right across the globe. Because of the track record and relationship that we've built with a lot of our clients, they have just given us some amazing opportunities, which, you know, have seen us travel all over the world. And we have got to do so many interesting and fun and exciting projects. In fact, their work has been showcased on a 13-story billboard in Times Square, New York. Not once, but twice. But this time, it's for the holidays. Our clients trusting us with creating content that goes up in New York, like, pretty phenomenal. But a small Brisbane video production company has landed its work on one of the most prominent billboards in New York. Aaron Lucas is the co-director of Trending Media Australia and I think we find him in New York this morning. We're literally like just steps away from Times Square where this billboard has been put up with our video on it and we just can't believe that our little company <laughs> was chosen to do this. Trending Media Australia have uh, hit the big time. They're in New York. The support that we have received since we started our business for now, I just couldn't be so grateful and thankful. All of this with a trusty border collie named Jimmy by their side. And of course, we wouldn't have been able to achieve any of this without our crew. I think in the beginning, neither one of us you know, ever imagined we would have anybody else working with us or for us. And over the last few years, we have had, you know, some amazing friends that have come on board as crew members and, you know, given their expertise and their time to help build this company. I mean, it's been me and Aaron, but we, you know, there's no way we would have been able to do it, just the two of us. We wouldn't be where we are today if it wasn't for people like them and of course for all the support that we have received whether it's online people watching us family friends clients of course and to now be in our own space we couldn't be happier